the way we learn today is just wrong. Learning needs to be less like memorization and more like Angry Birds. Fifty percent of school dropouts name boredom as the number one reason that they left. How do we get our kids to want to learn? The challenge is in the old style educational system, you start at an A and every time you get something wrong, your score gets lower and lower and lower. In the gaming world, it's just the opposite. You start with zero and every time you call up something right, your score gets higher and higher and higher. It completely flips the way we currently learn. Think about what you do when you play a game. You observe the problem. You form a hypothesis and then you test that hypothesis. And ultimately, you learn and you try it again. It's actually the same as the scientific method. The trick is to make kids as addicted to learning as they are to gaming. I want to share a story, one of the most compelling examples that I've ever heard of gamification. Proteins are the basic building block of your cells. And for the longest time, predicting how a protein folds has been a very difficult problem. A group of graduate students asked the question, is the ability of the human brain to able to predict protein folding better than the computer? And they created a game called Fold It, in which the user gets a protein and then begins to manipulate it and fold it on the screen. The lower the stress and strain on that protein molecule, the better their score. Well, it turned out that humans were much better at folding proteins. It turned out that the best protein folder was a woman who during the day was an executive secretary at a rehab clinic and who at night became the best protein folder on the planet. Gaming outperforms textbooks in every area. Customized gaming teaches creativity and innovation. Pilots and surgeons trained on video games outperform those who are not. So where is this all going? The future of education is an AI that can teach my child or your child and gives them an education that's so personalized, so perfect, that the wealthiest people on the planet would never be able to afford it. That's a future in which education is much better than we can possibly ever imagine.